Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening traders. This is the Man of Stairs signing in. The time now is 2.49 a.m. Central Standard Time. We are in a live trade. We're experiencing, excuse me, we're experiencing um, bounces of resistance. This Right now this is resistance, and this is the 15-minute chart, and it's looking to break out. I'm only going for 30 pips here. You can tell this is the uh, order. We're negative right now. This is the limit order, okay, right here. And um, then this is the... Uh, this is the exit or stop order. All right, we're like I said, we're down right now. <coughs> we're going for a hundred dollars or thirty pips. Um, I have been teaching support and resistance uh, this week. I will continue with the additional two lessons later on this week, uh, since it's going to be a, 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 a short week because of Easter. And um, last week I did trend line analysis. Next week I will be doing uh, basically candle formations. And uh, right now this is a convergence uh, lesson, so that you can see when uh, a, a trend line bounce occurred this is the circle that's uh, uh, that's um, confirming the the, the trend line bounce okay you also see the uh, morning star created inside a combo which is the combo is an engulfish bullish okay heading north okay now the support and resistance level that we're actually trading off is is the order okay so it's uh, 146.30 uh, and it's playing around there right now because it was support uh, it, it broke it out, it created its own candle, now it's a bounce, and now it's going back north. Now, I don't know how far north it is going to go, that's why I have this one set at 146.60. So we'll just watch it. So it kind of looks like it wants to try to go north now. If it does break this, remember, previous resistance, previous support, this was support, previous support becomes future resistance. Now, right now it's acting as resistance yet again because of this bounce. However, if it does break it, it's going to move to the next level. Now these are very, very minor, minor moves right now and that's why I'm taking the time to actually show you because what will happen is when it does break this, if it breaks it, when it does break it, it'll be a very strong, fast move. Kind of like this. Okay, so this was a level here at the alarm and there was uh, basically uh, pre previous support at these two levels and then in the past a little bit and then over here it was acting as resistance inside a channel resistance 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 uh kind of broke through it but then the wick created the con the con the convergence of the actual um resistance and then boom do you see that so now it's doing it here and that's what i'm trying to show you if it breaks out of here this candle sh this candle or the next candle should actually get explosive reaction uh now i want it to happen within the next 7 minutes because uh the candle that is actually that i'm looking for the con con the confirmation on is on the 1 hour and we can look at that over here. Now it's having a little bit of a tough time with it, but uh, how you can tell here is that if this does confirm and it's over that point, in fact even this point right here, because now we're at zero dollars, that means we're broke even. That's what I was at before, so 713 would have been the uh, ideal number. If it does within the next, uh, let's say, seven minutes, break out of there, and we're in, let's say, within five to seven pips above that on the 15 minute chart, this will be confirmed because obviously this is the one hour ch uh, chart so that means that within the next six minutes it would uh, close over, o over over the next candle whichever direction it is actually going to go. We have two full minutes to go and the good thing about the GBPJPY is that 30 pips to the GBPJPY is like taking candy from a baby. It, it's I mean that's obviously a good thing and it, it could potentially be a bad thing for anyone who is n unaware of um, its potential power and here we go it really does look like it's going to confirm in the opposite direction of the entire move that I just confirmed off this trend line bounce it really does look like it's not going to conform um, with any of it really we've dropped uh, way more than I was thinking it was. you know we're at that previous point of resistance and the trend line bounce to form tweezer bottoms on this particular move which would be somewhat convenient seeing that we've got this point here and this point over here but it's kind of I mean this is again the 15 minute chart how it's actually creating what on the one hour looks like tweezer bottoms um, this huge uh, engulfish bullish now what would be <coughs> splendid and I doubt that this will actually happen because of the time that it is right now it's only three o'clock in the morning central uh, standard time which means it's only 10 in the morning in year in, in London um, there's not anybody doing any major tra trading right now and if they are all of this volatility that we see in here 
is actually what the scalpers are creating inside uh, here I'll show you really this is the three minute chart and I could show you the one minute chart but this is what the scalpers are creating money off right now the profit potential that they see on this is is actually a channel the channel is right here and right here uh, right this candle here okay for them they are actually isolating these moves based on these candles so they've got a trade here they've got a trade here they've got a trade here they had a trade here and they're going for anywhere between 5 and 15 pips at a time now they've had five trades already so they, I mean I mean they're they're probably having a ball I'm not a scalper um, I, I am sometimes a scalper but I'm a large position scalper that means my moves are between 25 and 50 um, and then if I can get 70 at any one point in time that's precisely the reason why I trade the GBP JPY because over here when you get a confirm two things candle formations r are the rule of thumb and uh, and the second thing the GBP JPY trends incredibly well uh, I mean seriously if there's anything you can count on it's the GBP JPY trend now for some reason right this second this intermittent trend is having some type of control over the actual move itself even though we're at a trend line and even though we're at strong previous levels of support well, even though the time is kind of early in the set for this even for this evening session, um, I don't know. It's looking like it actually does want to go north again. That could actually help us with the uh, with the uh, bounce. It still hasn't really done anything that I have said. It's going to do like break this level of uh, resistance, acting resistance right now. Now it hasn't really backed up yet, <coughs> but it looks like it's gathering momentum to actually back up. This candle just closed. Gosh, this is really beginning to look uh, terrific. If if the uh, if this confirmation off the previous bounce, which was actually a huge wick here that actually came all the way up here, um, would revert back and actually confirm as tweezer bottoms, that would be great. Look at the time right now. That would be great. We still have 45 minutes left to go, so just hanging in it, hanging in. Here you really can't tell if it's getting ready to confirm its uh, previous point of support. That way, now going north off these bounces, or if it's getting ready to just build its uh, its its momentum that it's been having for the entire last four hours um, to just you know break out of the trend line and just take me out completely. We've got six minutes though to to see what happens. Right now the time is 3.50 a.m. Central Standard and I'd really need this candle right here, this is the one hour chart, to close at around 4.66.16. It just hit it right now but I need it to close above that so we got 10 minutes to go. Well it's uh, almost 4, it's about to close and it's hedging right, hedging towards the uh, order in the direction that I had originally stated and so now the candle did close and we're above it uh, hopefully we will get profitable here in just a bit and there you have it so it broke out we had 30 pips now we're at 800 so it did basically take a long ass time and I actually moved the stop twice because I was hoping that it wouldn't break out through the trend line luckily for us uh, this reversal here is at a hedge off the actual minor move all right, have a purpose, a large purpose, uh, one that can excite you and scare you all at the same time. If you can see it in your head, if you can hold it in your head, you can hold it in your hand. This is TMU signing out.